So today we'll see how we can use Redis object cache plugin and make your website super fast. Especially if you are suffering from slow backend or if you're a dynamic website which is really slow, then you can use this plugin and you can make your website really fast. I created another video which explains what is Redis cache and explain how you can implement it on your website using Lightspeed Cache plugin or W3 Total Cache plugin. But in this video, we'll cover the dedicated plugin which is called Redis Object Cache plugin. If you want to watch that useful video, check out the description of this video. Okay, so let's move in this tutorial and see how we can install Redis Object Cache plugin and what are the common issues comes when you try to use this plugin. So log into WordPress dashboard and then hover on plugins and then click add new and then search here Redis. So we'll find this first plugin Redis Object Cache and you can see it is installed more than 100,000 times and it got very nice rating and it was updated one month ago. So what you need to do is click on install now and once it is installed click on activate. Okay, once this plugin will be installed you will see this option overview, metrics and diagnostics. So you can see here the status is drop in is not installed and then drop in says not installed but file system is writable. So what we need to do now is we need to click on enable object cache and now you can see drop in says valid but status is not connected. Okay, so status is not connected because your server is not having the updated version of Redis module. So what you need to do now, if you're facing this issue on your website, you need to contact your host and ask them to update the Redis module on your server. And for most of you in your hosting, if you have the updated version of Redis module, then you will see space something like this, where it says status connected, drop in valid, and file system writable. And if you're seeing a problem with status, when it says not connected, then contact your host. And then we have second tab which is matrix. You can see the data served by the Redis cache. And then in the end we have diagnostic. So if your Redis cache is not working, you can copy diagnostic to clipboard and you can send it to your host. But for most of you, I think you will have the latest version of Redis. So everything will work fine on your website. So this was a quick tutorial on Redis object cache plugin. If you want to watch the complete tutorial on Redis, how it works, check out this video on screen. And if you do not have Redis enabled on your server, you can use alternate technology which is memcache. If you want to watch a video on Memcache, how you can enable it, check out this other video on the screen. And like always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.